So this is part two of my top 10 wearable tech. So in the first video, I did my first five, top five, and now the second top five. So in case you haven't seen the first video yet, click here to see that one. Enjoy. Number five is the Google Glass. So this is a very interesting product. So it is a glass, glasses you wear, and you have a constant um, screen on the right side of your vision. So you just in in normal when you're walking, you have your normal field of view, but on the top right, you have a little Google Glass uh, screen, and you can do. Uh, you can Google stuff by voice commands or using the touchpad on the side. Um, you can uh, video chat or normal chat. Uh, you can get navigation and it also has a built-in camera so you can take pictures or um, video. So for example you say, okay glass, take a picture and then it takes a picture. So it's a very cool product. So this is still the Explorer edition. It doesn't have full features and I'm looking forward to the consumer edition which is being released right uh, in this year because the Explorer edition is $1,500 so that's very expensive and right now because they have to keep it pretty lightweight you just have a very small battery and I'm very looking forward to the consumer edition because I probably want to get one but the Explorer edition is too expensive for me. Number four is the MYO and the MYO is a gesture band and you wear it down here not here and this has a reason because the MYO tracks your muscle movements and then sends out a signal what the uh, what it should do and um, on the wrist it didn't it wouldn't work and you can do very cool things with it for example control your music on a computer or even game with it fly an air drone or use it on a PowerPoint presentation the downside however is compatibility again you need programs which work with it and when developers start making great programs with it it will be an awesome product the Fitbit Force so the Fitbit Force is an activity tracker and it does everything um, you can imagine so it tracks your daily activities and also your nightly activities it has a pedometer an activity um, tracker it has a night activity tracker it has a sleep timer you can sync with um, your computer or your friends and compare your goals and reach your goals and overall what I really like about it is that it's all in one with other smart bands it's mostly just daily or nightly but with the Fitbit Force it has both number two is the Pebble Steel so the Pebble Steel is a very interesting smartwatch and it is the second version of the Pebble um, smartwatches and uh, it has lots of cool features um, for example it has plays your music has lots of apps it, they're making their own app store right now and music control like I already mentioned and more stuff like that and very more things and it's very cool. Um, however, downside kind of is it lacks of these kind of features. For example, the Galaxy Gear has has no camera, no calling functions. Um, but for example, it's water resistant. That's a good thing. And what I also like about the second version, the Pebble Steel, I didn't like the Pebble um, first version too much because I really like the Pebble Steel because 
it looks and feels so premium. It's all made of steel and it's very nice and I very like it. Now, finally, my number one favorite wearable tech, the hot watch. It is my favorite smartwatch out there and it has some amazing features. For example, it does all the standard things a watch does. It has lots of watch fa interfaces and um, it has four types of um, four models they have released. Um, you can pre-order them right now and they will ship in March. And it has uh, features like weather apps, um, calculator app, messaging app, a text reply app, um, um, email uh, and notifications, fall detection, and more stuff, <laughs> and uh, even stocks. And but my favorite feature about it is its calling feature. So it has a microphone by built in and microphone and speaker built into um, the watch, and then you um, um, do this with your hand, and then um, you go up to your ear, and you can um, call someone like this, and it works like this. The um, audio is getting uh, the um, they use your hands to um, get the audio to your ear, but um, you would think that if you talk like this, um, you would all like everybody would hear everything. But they found it a very cool technique, and it's actually pretty quiet for the outside world, and not a, so it's called um, private calling. They call it. And it's a very awesome feature, and this is my favorite smartwatch. Then there's Oculus Rift. Technically, it isn't a wearable tech. However, if you do wear it and its technology, uh, it is a virtual gaming experience. And I also, I just wanted to mention it, and I also really like that one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you next time. Bye.